So I trust that everybody's already seen this, but yesterday Nvidia reported their earnings and they were tremendous. They were as good as we could ask for. And as a result, it makes sense. The stock is up over 16% today. Now, this comes on the heels of Nvidia being up basically 600% since our most recent stock market bottom from our most recent bear market in October of 2022. So Nvidia has had an insane ride over the past five years. The stock is up basically 1900%. And as a result of this, the NASDAQ itself is up basically 3% today. And there's a lot of questions going around now about are we forming an AI bubble. There's a lot of comparisons that are coming out comparing this AI gold rush to the internet dot com bubble of the late 90s and early 2000s. And that's exactly what we're going to be talking about in today's video. Is Nvidia stock forming a bubble and should we be careful because when a bubble pops the whole market crashes. But before we get into it, if you guys are new here or returning and not yet subscribed, please subscribe down below and if you want to support me so I can avoid all the crappy sponsorships other YouTubers take and get access to my buy and sell alerts, my due diligence files and my spreadsheets and other perks, hit the join button located right next to the subscribe button or hit my Patreon link in the pinned comment. Without further ado, let's waste no more time. Let's get into this. On the screen now, you can see a chart of Nvidia's stock price, and then there's a red line that indicates when OpenAI launched ChatGPT. Since then, Nvidia has been on a meteoric rise up 350%. It's up from $169.23 in just a short, 14 months. And to be really honest with you, it makes sense. Right now, things are as good as it gets for Nvidia as a company, so the stock price should reflect that. This huge AI gold rush is leading to billions of dollars being spent on Nvidia's GPUs because they're the, they're the only game in town. Nobody else makes GPUs that are as good as Nvidia's. And it makes sense that this would lead to a huge boost in our entire stock market because eventually, all of these dollars and huge investments that are being made in AI related hardware and software are going to boost our productivity as an economy. This bodes really well for the next decade in our economy and as a result, our stock market. But the question remains, without this AI craze, where would the stock market be today? And maybe this is why people are concerned we're forming a bubble. Without this AI craze, it's very likely that we could still be in a bear market because ChatGPT was launched in November of 2022 and the stock market found its bottom just a month prior to that at the end of October. So yeah, it's kind of a scary thought. Without this AI craze, the stock market might still be in the dumps. And the simple lack of suppliers of these GPUs might be feeding into this notion that we're forming a bubble because there's a feeding frenzy amongst the users who are ordering and hoarding these Nvidia chips and maybe they're ordering and hoarding more chips than they will actually need because there's no guarantee that they're going to be able to get their hands on enough chips to begin with. And this is not a new problem for the semiconductor industry. Double ordering and cancellations have been a recurring cyclical problem for the semiconductor industry. This isn't new, so it's very likely that this is going to become a problem again, where these companies have ordered too much and they've hoarded too much and they cancel their orders or they create a huge supply glut. But right now it is very hard to argue with Nvidia's success. They're enjoying monopoly power in this industry and in this market. And it's just a fact that there is a red hot market right now for Nvidia's chips. Elon Musk, the most famous man in the world is trying to get his hands on as many of these chips as he possibly can. Now, if you look at the chart on the screen now, you'll see something very interesting. We all know Nvidia stock has been going up in a straight line, which by the way, it's not gonna continue to do that. Nothing that moves up in a straight line just keeps doing so until the end of time. It's going to slow down. It's going to cool off eventually, but besides the point, even with the stock price going up parabolically, the Ford PE on Nvidia has come down because analysts have increased their earnings expectations for the company faster than their stock price has gone up. And that's saying something considering the stock is up more than 350% in 14 months. Back in June of 2023, this is when the Ford PE multiple on Nvidia stock actually peaked at around 82. And at this time, that's when people were arguing that Nvidia was expensive. But this Ford PE multiple that Wall Street had for Nvidia 
was wrong. The actual forward PE was much lower, and that's what we've started to see now. So you can make an argument for not owning Nvidia stock, but your argument can't be that it's too expensive because right now for a company growing its revenues as fast as Nvidia is and growing their profits as fast as Nvidia is, a 30 forward PE or less is very cheap for a company with the prospects that Nvidia has. And when you have a company that is cheap on paper, it's really hard to form a bubble in the stock market. It's very likely that AI is going to power the stock market just like it has since October or November of 2022 for many years to come now. But it is important to note that eventually the market is going to have priced in an abundance of future growth for Nvidia. Because remember, what you're paying for when you buy a stock is the company's future earnings. The market always is discounting this and pricing this in. Eventually, the market is going to catch up. Eventually, Nvidia is gonna stop going up in a straight line. Eventually, Nvidia stock is going to be fairly valued. Right now, that's not the case. So this could continue for quite a while. Now, just like the tech bubble, there's going to be winners and losers. And there's a lot of comparison going on right now, comparing Nvidia to Cisco of the tech bubble, which I know a lot of you like Cisco, really. But no, Cisco was the biggest company in the entire S&P 500 at one point in time. You can see the meteoric rise in Cisco stock that took place around the year 2000. And then after that, they, they crashed really quickly. Now, since then, it's actually been a pretty good stock to own. Like if you bought it in the early 2000s, it's, it's, it's performed pretty well. Its stock price topped at about $80 per share. And still to this day, it's not back to $80 per share. So there is that. But similar to Nvidia's meteoric rise, Cisco was up an astonishing 639% since October 7th of 1998. That compares to Nvidia being up basically 575% since October 14th of 2022. And then Cisco stock found a bottom around $8 per share. So there's a lot of people that are worried this is what's in store for Nvidia, that this is Nvidia's fate, just like it was Cisco's fate. But I actually disagree with this and there's a couple reasons for it. Nvidia does not provide the bones of the AI space. Cisco provided the bones for the internet and the tech boom. If you want my opinion, I think Nvidia stock is still gonna outperform for quite a while, but if there is a company that's gonna act a lot like Cisco has, I think it's SMCI. Today, SMCI is up 33%. SMCI is a company that provides the bones for AI, just like Cisco did. They provide the hardware, they provide the server racks, and eventually that sort of growth is going to peak because you're not constantly having to replace server racks. Now, unfortunately, I don't have a crystal ball. If I did, I would tell you so that we could all get super rich, but that's not the case. So I could be wrong about all of this. But the bottom line is this video that I made today, it's probably gonna get a fair amount of views. If enough people are worried about Nvidia forming a bubble or just AI in general forming a bubble that'll eventually pop and crash the markets, it's not gonna happen. The bubble won't ever form because people are worried about it and investors like to price things in. So if they're worried about a bubble forming, they'll either sell their AI investments or they'll keep their capital on the sideline if they don't already own AI investments, which in both of those scenarios, it prevents an actual bubble from forming. Now, like I mentioned earlier, just know that eventually the market is going to price Nvidia correctly and the major outperformance of its stock is going to stall. The stock price of Nvidia is not just gonna keep going up in a straight line. That's not how things work. Eventually, it's going to cool off. I'm not saying it's gonna crash. I'm just saying it's going to cool off. And let's say you had $1,000 to invest today and you asked me if you would be more likely to double your investment by buying Nvidia stock or buying a different stock. I might argue that you would be better off if you're looking to double your money. You might be better off buying a different stock because Nvidia stock has gone up parabolically and again, eventually that's going to end. It's not just gonna keep going up in a straight line. So if you wanted to double your money, you might do it quicker actually buying a different stock. Now I know it's really hard. Nvidia is the stock you have to own and everybody owns it and everybody's making a ton of money. But remember, another opportunity will always present itself in the stock market. 
you can miss out on the best opportunity in the world and still outperform the markets if you win more than you lose. The best investors of all time have missed out on opportunities just like NVIDIA, yet they're still regarded as the best investors of all time. And another note I'll make is that generally, I'm not gonna say always, but most of the time, it's not the best idea to buy a stock when the underlying company is experiencing results that are literally as good as it gets. Because at that point, if you get results that are less than as good as it gets, so you can still have great results, but if they're less than as good as it gets, the stock is going to stop outperforming. So usually it's not the best investment to buy into a company that's already experiencing results that are as best as it gets. I guess that's what I'm trying to say. So in conclusion right now, no, I don't think we're forming a bubble that is going to pop. Could it turn into a bubble? Absolutely, but I actually think that's in the Fed's hands. I talked about this in a video recently. If you wanna go watch it, click the I the top right hand corner, but basically, I fear that the Fed, if they cut rates too soon, is going to stimulate this already speculative stock market, which is what would form the AI bubble. But thankfully, as I suspected, Jerome Powell and his associates aren't dumb, and they saw the same thing that I saw. I mean, if a 22-year-old can see this, they can see it as well. So they've kind of walked back their rate cut projections and pushed back in against the market. And I hope they continue to do so. Otherwise, yeah, I will, I will become concerned that we're forming a bubble that is going to pop. All melt ups in the stock market lead to melt downs in the stock market. Eventually at this point, I don't see us forming a bubble. I think this is very healthy movement. Could we end up forming a bubble? Absolutely. But with that, I'm going to end this video here. Again, if you're new here or returning and not yet subscribed, please subscribe down below and have a great rest of your day. Keep 10 toes to the ground and your chin up. Stay blessed. Peace out.